We just saw faith leaders across our area are stepping up in the wake of the bridge collapse with multiple services praying for those impacted. Baltimore Archbishop William Lorry dedicated a local church's mass to create a space for people to pray about the tragedy. Dennis Valera attended the service tonight in North Baltimore. Five thirty on Tuesday is a typical time for mass at the Cathedral of Mary our Queen. But this Tuesday, some people came for a special reason. Let us ask the Lord for the strength. Archbishop William Laurie called on the community to come together in prayer in light of the collapse of the Francis Scott Key Bridge. Six construction workers are now presumed dead, with search and rescue efforts turning into a recovery operation Wednesday morning. Natalie Gajardo says her fiance is from Sparrows Point. The bridge was a big landmark for them. Having a real like personal connection to that area um, and that it's just something that's going to affect everybody here. Um, I think it's important that we can all come together and to our support and pray. A key message of Tuesday's mass was outreach, reminding people to help those impacted by the key bridge collapse. Archbishop Lori told us the diocese has already reached out to the families of the construction workers. Father Akko, who is the pastor of Sacred Heart of Jesus in Highland Town, has actually been with the families and uh, has been offering them um, comfort and, and love and support during this difficult time. Archbishop Laurie says helping these families won't end anytime soon. We need to hold each other in this moment as much as we can um, and hold um, each other's pain um, as well as comfort one another. Reporting in Baltimore, I'm Dennis Valera for WJZ.